Hello, it's the Bat Mini Painter again. And uh, today we're going to paint up some Raven Guard, slowly moving through the, the Space Marine chapters. Oh well, the more popular ones. Uh, I'm not going to do all of them because there are 80,000 and I don't have that many models available. So, today, Raven Guard. Uh, first off, let me say that the, the black uh, base coat from Arby Painter, yeah, you, you can see the result here. It's it's not brilliant. It it really isn't brilliant. It's it it clumped up. I I, I thought it almost uh, destroyed my model. Now before you say hey, uh, you're probably holding it too close or whatever. I was standing at the recommended distance, uh, about well uh, at arm's length, and I have pretty long arms because I'm a freak of nature. Um, it didn't help. It it, it gunked up quite a bit and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting upset again so I'm not going to be using that anymore that's what eight pounds out the window anywho so I started by uh, dry brushing it heavily with a uh, Abaddon black and uh, then I went back in with a lighter uh, dry brush of Coles black and that's it's, it's basically to add some uh, variation and interest uh, to the armor and it's an easy way to uh, well, it's an easy way for me to add uh, a lot of detail without actually doing anything. Like it's, it's already now way more interesting to look at uh, than had it just been black. Um, and I also I'm using Corvus Black uh, Pure for uh, for uh, for the gun. Uh, and what you didn't see was me putting on lead belcher because I lost that footage. I'm, I'm brilliant like that. Uh, Morphang Brown for um, for the gun holster and the backs. And that is my go-to. You will see me using that on all the Space Marine models. So Morphang Brown for the base layer. Then Scrag Brown as a, a highlight. And then uh, Aquax Earthshade all over that. that. So, spoiler alert, I guess. Next I go in with the uh, Mephiston Red and uh, that is for the Sigil and uh, for um, one of the shoulder pads. You can see now when you when you look at the model that uh, there are some details that seems kind of gunked up and washed out and that is from that base coat. And I swear to cow, I I I, shook, uh, I I did give that can a proper shake and I kept a normal distance uh, the weather was about 20 degrees uh, Celsius so it should be pretty good conditions to base coat so um, I'm quite upset anyhow just adding uh, adding the Mephiston red to the trim of uh, the, the right left or right depending on uh, one of the, the shoulder uh, pads and uh, messing up quite a bit but that's a good thing uh, like I uh, abandoned black so I went back and I cleaned up and everything was good again uh, then white scar for um, for the uh, chest plate area thing chest decoration I, I should really like uh, figure out what the different stuff is called on the armor before recording a video. I mean, it would be much more professional if I knew what the names were of stuff, right? I... Anyhow, I'm mumbling. Now, why this is definitely not the worst thing to repair if, if I mess up. Uh, so, didn't have to be that careful. Look, look at that shoulder blade, it's all gunky. Fuck you, Army Painter. Anywho, uh, Screaming Skull for the parchment. I have used other of Army Painter's uh, base coats, and uh, besides a silver one where the can just broke, uh, I haven't had any issues. It's. I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with this one. It's definitely wrong. 
So, highlighting with the Scrag Brown. And then Agrax Earthshade, uh, pretty much just slapping it on there, letting it pull a little bit and then uh, distributing the paint around. And now like uh, sucking up some of that paint with, uh, with my brush. And finally, because it is a really, really quick paint job, uh, adding some Mephiston Red for the eyes and messing that one up. I went back in and cleaned it up with, uh, with some more Abandoned Black and the end result looks like this. So, it's, it's a decent looking model. It, it, yeah, I don't know what to say. It, I felt okay about it. Like, okay, I'm done with this. This is fine. It, it looks okay. It's, it's definitely tabletop ready, you know. So, yeah. that's 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 what I'm going for here. Tabletop ready. Uh, but I must admit that the, that the whole base coat thing messing up, uh, it kind of ruined the joy of painting the model. It, it, it pissed me off. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Sorry about me rambling about bad spray paints, but that was kind of the theme of this video. It's a really easy model to paint up if your base coat don't fuck you over. Anywho, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please do leave a like and subscribe if you feel like liking and subscribing. I would appreciate it. Have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. Maybe.